Hi, I'm Tech from Tech Driven, and today we're going to be building a brand new system from ground up. So first off, we're going to start off with our case that we chose for this project. Uh, this is the Phantom 410 by NZXT, and of course it's a mid-tower case, even though it's quite big for its size. And there's quite a few reasons why we chose this case. Uh, the box shows it's white, we chose red, and it come, also comes in black. And of course the price tag on this one, I believe, the original says 100 dollars but I believe we bought it on sale for around 85 bucks uh, she on the rear has a lot of options you know a lot of fans for the case for cooling and of course easy to remove base which we're gonna be using and of course also that's important USB 3.0 in the front which you know those days is uh, now you can get most accessories for it so why not take advantage of it so let's take it out of the box what it is this is the front of the case which you know as you can see it's quite big for a mid tower case but I promise you it is a mid-sized tower uh, this is the ATX tower you know of course has fans in the front you can just see and you'll be highlight as well we'll show that later in the video and you press in we got a tree base for our CDROM drives uh, our previous case has a full open case, which you know, this is nice because you can hide your CD on drives just in case the colors and match, you don't have to worry about it. And at the same time, we don't want to have it all just in case you have something in front of it, you know, and the CD ROM opens up and something breaks. So there's still foil on it, and we're going to keep uh, whatever we had. We, we took uh, one foil off to the one side, but uh, ideally, you want to, while you're working on the computer, just keep the foil on it, uh, just to protect it from being scratched while you're turning around and installing all the hardware. Uh, so let's open it up, so I can go over these, some details and uh, nice features this particular case has. Okay, so let's go from the, from the main side. So the front, as you can see, has glass, so you can actually, you have a, uh, some kind of LED in it, you can see and highlight all the feature, all the hardware inside. As well on the side you have a mesh here, so you can install a nice uh, 120 or 140 uh, millimeter fan. It has, you can, there's two holes for diff different sizes, so this is nice. So on the inside, as you notice, it has uh, multiple bay fan options on the bottom. Uh, sitting on the side, so you got three bays and of course Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven possibly hard drives that you can install. And of course, an additional fan on the side here that you can install for the, to cool the hard drives, which is really nice. Cables are pre-wired here to the side, cable vent, and of course there are fans on, one fan on the top, but you can install the second one here. Uh, the other thing is if you're installing a, a multiple uh, video cards that are long and you know, the cables are sticking up, What's nice about this one is actually you can pull this out. Same thing for the hard drives. So of course, it's easy to remove uh, hot swap, removable hard drives, and it's easy to remove it. The same thing if you need, really need the space, you can do that and just move the hard drives on the bottom trays here and keep this one open to uh, allow your uh, better ventilation as well as all your cable management for your video cards. So let's put this back on. Let's go over to the back now. So in the back, of course, we got our, our 120 millimeter fan. We've got a seven bay, uh, seven uh, slots for extension, and the power supply is going to be on the bottom, uh, which is unusual from the top. But however, this is good, makes it easier for management, cable management as well as cooling. And you can see it has actually a mesh here on the bottom, so it picks up the air for the. Uh, to cool the power supply from the bottom. So once in a while, you just gotta make sure to that you clean that that screen here. You can see, uh, hopefully, and there's also sort of a slot right into where so the air freely gets in, and of course, it does cool your power supply. And of course, in the back, one thing that's noticeable is he has already pre pre cut two holes for if you are using a water cooling system. You don't have to drill any holes or make any special arrangements. It's really pretty drilled and easy to manage. So let's go over the other side. 
So you might have noticed when I showed you earlier, the hard drives actually are mounted from the opposite side than usually uh, from the main side of where the motherboards and other components are. Uh, this is done specifically just for better cable management. That way all your cables really that you connect to the hard drive, so I need to do one, you can run your wires through here. And uh, all the cables are hidden instead of fooling around and you gotta uh, tie them up everywhere. They're all hidden in, in the back of the chassis. So this is pretty much it. Of course, this case comes with uh, all the accessories to mount the hard drive. I mean, the hard drives and motherboard. But the re really reason why we chose this case, because which I haven't gone over, is the top. Okay, when you look at the top, and hopefully you can see it this way. Okay, let me show it this way so it's easier. On this side, we can mount two. 100, 220 millimeters or two 140 millimeters fans. And this is extremely important for us because we're gonna be using Corsair uh, H100i cooling system, which is uh, integrated uh, liquid cooling. And of course it has runs on dual, uh, dual 120 millimeter fans and a radiator. So I hope you liked this video. Click like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Make sure you subscribe, and if you have any questions, comments, leave them below.